Yeah, hello, welcome to this broadcast. I hope I'm live as usual. There is this nagging feeling that there might be something wrong, but this is why I'm asking every time. I'm sorry, I need to do it. If I'm live, give me a short message in the chat, would be great. So, let's get going. Yeah, someone tells me I'm live, that's cool. So, let's play some games. Yep, five minutes, yes, here was this Yilmo from Turkey. So, let's see what I can do here. I'm going for a Sicilian. Oop, bishop e2, that's not exactly looking very ambitious. Okay, let's fear in shadow. Against those somewhat slowish build-ups that can't be so bad. Okay, maybe go d5. C3, oh, he plays d3. That's not very ambitious. Let's grab the center. If he takes queen d5, I don't mind that. He cannot attack my queen. Yeah, I would have liked to take with the knight, admittedly, but um, didn't work out. But, well, he's not attacking that queen anytime soon. What he can try is um, something... Oh, okay, maybe he's going for knight e4. Playing on the dark squares. Knight e4, yeah, maybe. Anyway. Uh, there's a question. I'm going to be playing a 2200 player. I'm 1800. Any tips? Um, yeah, I've got a tip. Just play whatever you would play against uh, an 1800 player as well. Yeah, just play a normal game. It's not a brilliant idea to do something totally different if you face a stronger opponent. At least try to be yourself. Don't try to play something that you don't... Um, that you don't know well, that you feel at home. It's uh, better to play something that you that you know, let's say, or some kind of game that you are comfortable with and try something entirely different. Um, someone is asking, am I looking to write any more books in the future? Um, it was an interesting experience, um, definitely, to write that book. The only thing that is um, um, pretty clear, it's not a very um, a very sensible economic decision to write a book. You simply um, don't earn um, a decent amount of money with it. Um, it's an, it's not like a, it's not the fault of the publisher or anything. <laughs> it's not like that. It's just that with with chess books you don't earn earn lots of money. It's um, very bad, let's say, uh, hourly rate <laughs> that you that you can calculate for that. Um, still, I would like to write one, but um, I'm going to. Um, I have to think about it. What uh, what under which circumstances and um, and so on. Okay, that that position here is nice. I've got a good central control. It's just that I'm not totally sure how to build up from here. That long diagonal is nice, but difficult to do something with. Um, yeah, I wonder, f5, grabbing more space, that also weakens quite a bit. I can do, I can do this maybe. I had, I had a funny tactic in a game last year, which was kind of comparable, this position, on b4 and d4, but it's not going to happen here as well. Can I play something like g5? And it's, no, then he goes d4, that's crazy. Okay, let's centralize. Can you recommend a line against the Chigorin? That would be the Chigorin defense in the Queen's Gambit decline. In the not decline in the Queen's Gambit, um, yeah, almost everything is good. Oops, White resigned. 
Why did he resign? That is a surprise. No. Okay, probably um, there was something uh, happening like doorbell ringing, things like that. Uh, it happened to me more than once. Yeah, pizza at the door. Okay. Um, um, that's a question. Do I plan on making any more opening uncovered series? Um, yep, I do. Um, Chess Openings Uncovered is a series on my channel um, where I've got um, one opening under the under the under um, under the microscope. Is that the right word? Not really. It's not really the microscope. I'm giving an overview of, um, of an opening. I did this for for the Nidor, for the um, for the Nimzo Indian. Yeah, like here, Nimzo with E3. And uh, you just presented the main possibilities to to give an overview what what happens. Yes, I will do those kind of videos. It's um, something like the Benoni semi slav would be really cool. Yeah, that would be two different videos then, right? Yeah, maybe both are popular openings. Benoni is more popular on a on a let's say um, on a normal level. The semi slav is more of a of a pro opening. It's not not played that often in um, in um, yeah normal level chess, let's say. Yeah, Bishop G5. He allowed that pin surprisingly enough. Okay, well here with the Knight on D7, it's not as terrible as it is in other under other circumstances. Anyway. Mm. Uh, that's a question. Do I plan to finish my E4, E5 series in the future? Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to huh? <laughs> at um, at some point. Okay, Bishop A6, he wants to do something on the C pawn. Maybe cover it for the moment. Yeah, against the Chigorin, um, what is good? One one line that is pretty good is uh, to just play knight. Well, let's check here. Okay, let's go f4. Um, d4, d5, c4, knight, c6. Um, knight f3, bishop g4, knight c3, e6, cd5, e5. That's a pretty good line. Yeah, and a simple line. Okay, so here I'm going to go for broke rather quickly. Sacrificing the exchange. I'm not sure if it is enough, but it is an interesting way to play. So knight g3 immediately, or do I go d5 first? I think. Hmm. Hmm, it's hard to believe that black can afford to take on d4 twice, with e5 also then getting. In the mix, maybe it's a bit of a gamble. So yeah, Queen F3 maybe to attack F6. Let's do this. Um, someone is um, discussing what I should post just wins or losses in my channel. Yeah, I'm always be posting wins and losses. Um, there's a question, maybe challenge you today. And it's normally not uh, meant to be, but you can try. The thing is, I have no idea in that in that, in that that software, in the Blitz and software, how to actually accept a challenge. I'm always, my, my standard setting is that, that I'm not open for challenges. Simply because I'm quite often busy doing busy doing busy doing things. Oop, that's difficult. So I prefer it to not be uh, open for challenges. Yeah, H4 here. Is that happening? Yeah, I have to have to be quick here. Yeah, but it's probably not such a great idea, right? I cannot really take on F6. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, that wasn't a good idea. Just should have just played knight f5. Yeah, opponent's name is four princesses. It's a bit of a 
unusual name, but yeah, H4 was probably not very useful. I wonder, maybe I can go h5, rook g5, king h2, something like that, and then grab that pawn. That that wouldn't be so out of the out of this world. Uh, yeah, knight f5 anyway. I can do that actually, that's an interesting try. And then h5, knight h6, that's quite interesting. Black's position is not so easy to play. The bishop on a6 is not doing anything. Um, yeah, you don't. Why, why am I not sounding exciting when talking about finishing that repertoire series? Um, yeah, the thing is that um, there's little um, for me to discover myself if I'm doing that, if I'm finishing that series. I'm basically um, presenting my own repertoire. And um, it's like uh, watching the same movie all over again. Yeah, at, at, at some point it gets a bit boring. So what now? Let's do this maybe. If he goes up to g5, I go here. Knight f6 is hanging. Mm, difficult, I, I'm not quite sure. I think I have compensation here. Knight g4, is that possible? And rook g8 maybe. Or I can just take. It's, it's also interesting. I'm getting some pawns there. Or g4 and then taking. How is he cover it actually? He cannot really cover it. I'm not sure that might be a bad idea. <laughs> I just got rook g8 and for rook h5. Okay, so let's step here. And now it's got bishop c8. Okay, then then that was a bad idea. I didn't see bishop c8 coming. Hmm. Ah, stupid, stupid play. Uh, then I misplayed that. I had very nice compensation. Now I've got nothing. Bishop e2. Maybe I can get in bishop e2 and back back to f1 or something like that. Hmm. Uh, it's still not completely easy for him. Oh, that's nice. For e4. He saw that e4 idea. Hmm. Shoot. EF this E4 check. Ah, I terribly misplayed that. It was a nice position, really, I think. Mm, I, ca I cannot capture with, with anything. Wow. Yeah, that's probably losing somehow. Rook, rook h5. The queen f6 threatening rook h5. That's probably strong. I can go. I can go king h2, but hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you're winning here, how exactly? Ah, I can just take, ah, that's, that's simple, d6, um, anything, not really, nah, okay, so let's resign that, that was a shame, I had a nice compensation for that exchange, but didn't, um, didn't um, work out. Okay, let's go d4. 
Um, there's a question. Have I read the book The Modern Tiger and do I consider writing a review? And yeah, um, it yeah, it's a it's a, it's a good book, of course. But um, there are so many books to post reviews on. I also have a couple um, that um, some some people sent to me to do reviews on, and I should do those first. Um, yeah, I will post some book reviews definitely, but. Um, it, it will it will take um take a couple of weeks probably I don't know I have no I have no very clear concept when when to do it but um, so let's play it simple take here and go to e5 yeah white always should be a little bit better here um, take here. Pawn takes. Hmm. That looks suspicious. It really does. Knight e4, f e4. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a direct refutation. So let's go f4. My, where can I see where where can you see my book reviews? Yeah, on my YouTube channel. So okay, let's get rid of that thing and then go before. Um, there's a question. Have I read Daniel book Daniel King's book on the Night Wolf? Yeah, uh, but it's a very old book, right? It's from the from the. 90s or something. Um, I think he's written more than one, so it um, could be that I'm not totally up to date. So yeah, he's, he got his bishop right into my position. That's that's bad news, really. That's a bit weird, allowing me to attack b6, but okay. Yeah, my rook is um, kind of flexible there. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that one, but it is it is not, not as terrible. So here. Yeah, if you are still interested in chess after losing 200 games, you have the potential to become a good player. Yeah, it sounds uh, like a cool statement, but it's not very realistic. 200 games in a row is a bit much. Yeah, it's a funny situation. I don't really know. Both sides have a hard time moving. He's got uh, everything he has on that a4 pawn and I have it covered. If he moves the queen or rook away, I'm taking b5 and I'm better. But I can also do. I also have uh, big issues to move anything. Um, yeah, it's not really working there. I was thinking if there's some kind of tactic. Ah, he actually had an idea. He had an idea, bringing it to c2. Of all places, so I can go. Oh, can I go to d6? B6, it's not working. Okay, let's see if I can get some counterplay here. Is he doing actually? I can go f5, f6, for example. Is he taking with the bishop or wh where exactly? Even rook c1 is a move. It's a strange game in any case, a little bit. Yeah. 
And if you care very much about losing games, then chess is difficult to play. I mean, you should always care if you lose, that's, that's true, but you will always lose games, no matter how good you are. So if I take d5 here, queen d5, queen f7 just about works. Hmm. That whole play of black is kind of strange. Anyway. <laughs> That was the idea. Wow. <laughs> At least D five is hanging. Uh, so okay, I have to take on d5 and hope that somehow this is this is uh, something. Okay, here. This what is this guy? It's a relatively new account. Mm -hmm, okay. That the, the whole way that game was played, but okay, I, I won't say it. I won't say it. Yeah, okay, I'm resigning him, and um, I'm going to check that game later, definitely. Um, anyway, let's um, go for go for a new game. I'm not sure. It was a bit of a bit of a strange game. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of um, yeah. Recently, a uh, number of cheaters has increased online really a lot. Papo R29. So let's see what happens here. King's Indian. Yeah. Okay. So he's playing the this line, okay, the Makagonov variation, currently uh, pretty much in fashion. Um, okay. Let's see, play normal, normal stuff. Yeah, I'm used to, <laughs> to having this position from the white side. So seeing it from black is uh, a bit a bit uncommon. Let's uh, see if I can open the C file for some counterplay here. How do I play this position with black? He just castled short. It's not so frequently seen. Often white is kind of flexible and tries to play for, for long castling. Okay, I'm trying to play for b5 here if I go or now nah, that's good here right probably first this move knight c4 I can still play b5 um, yeah and let's play b5 here I need to get something going so yep take it and knight a4 I guess or to a6 now knight a6 looks strange, so let's go to a4. That's the more active move. Yeah, I can take there a couple of times. If I can get my bishop activated, that f8 bishop, I'm okay. 
currently I'm not seeing how how to do that bishop over to b6 would be would be neat of course but not easy to get hmm Bishop to h6, of course, it's also something that would help. Hmm. Yeah, this this uh, pawn there, the b5 pawn, is sometimes a liability. I'm doing this, preventing any f4 ideas, and now bishop over to b6. It's low. It really is, but I hope it works. One one disadvantage of putting the knight on e8 is that pressure on e4 has been reduced, as we see here. So, yeah, I can still do that, I think. Knight a5, I could have taken. So, okay, he's, allow, he's offering that trade. And now bishop b6. Okay. Yeah, um, I today announced that my channel um, is doing a little bit of a change. The daily program, let's say, is now consisting of one blitz game and an additional uh, longer video, some instructional um, content lesser uh, blitz games um, yeah I'm going to try that and see how it uh, how it works out um, currently I want to focus more on that um, instructional content and play less blitz so I think it's um, it's an interesting interesting change ah it's an interesting move Hmm. If I take on g4, he might take e8, huh? What a weird idea, but interesting. Definitely interesting. f5, he can take twice, unfortunately. Can I play f5, ef, knight, f6? That looks very nah that's not working. Probably not working. Hmm. Bishop G4, that was an interesting move really. Mm -hmm. That's also not good. Wow, okay, I have to take this, I guess. And now he plays that move. Yeah, now knight f6 is just okay, of course. <laughs> wow, completely misunderstanding here. Yeah? What? Okay, maybe he can go queen c6. Yeah, maybe he can. But I don't know. Yeah, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm not totally sure about it, but um, it should be okay. My knight on d6 is pretty good. Pretty good blockader. And uh, very nicely controlling all of the squares. Maybe I get in. Okay, he prevented that. <laughs> so over here. I know knight e4, better, better not. Let's not allow knight e4 so easily. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a pawn up. After all those adventures. Knight c4 maybe. Let's do this as a check as well. And then bring the king up. So, B6, 
back back I guess he lose using all the pawns okay <clears throat> I need to cover b5 there's no way I can give up that one that's that looks like a winning endgame yes someone on the ch on the chat says yeah viewer review games I will do more I will do more I just today finished um, analysis on one I just have to record the video I had a couple of questions about that game wasn't quite sure about some circumstances okay so this will mostly be a time issue 20 something seconds is tricky Okay. E three check should be should be strong. For F two, F one, Queens. Give me a queen. We all need queens. And that's made. Okay, that was a win. Whew. Okay, so let me check. Am I going to participate in the streamer tournament on chess.com? Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, where's the button? Yep, new, new game. Um, there's a question can you explain why in your bogo repertoire when to put the knight on d7 and when to c6 i can't see a logic there um uh, let me think about that yes there is a logic in that repertoire um <laughs> i hope so um there are normally you play knight bd7 and e5 in the in the in the main line with bishop d2 there are um, and there are cases where knight c6 is played after knight bd2 and um, there's a question what about the rapid videos on my new channel yeah the rapid videos uh, would be um, like that daily additional video like one blitz and one rapid that will happen quite frequently i'd like to play the 2510 that's it's a good uh, it's a good time control so what about this has t hoff something and he's playing the super sharp cordial variation and now he plays g4 wow. that is boring why why are you playing boring stuff and uh, the worst part is not so bad even let's go here rook h8 I don't really know it that well, that line. Hmm. Wow. That, that 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 seems slow, really, a bit slow. Queen b3. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe I can do it like that. Just very simple. And now trying to sacrifice on g4. It's um, yeah. Hmm. As usual, it's a king's Indian. It's kind of dicey. Knight f2 maybe is uh, is a simple and good move. No, he's ambitious. So he tries to take on d6. Probably with justification. Hmm. Yeah, it hangs with a check. That's really the problem. It's a check. Okay. Okay, 
I have to I have to do something drastic. Normal measures uh, won't be enough. <laughs> I mean, that probably is not working, but anyway. At least it will irritate him, I hope. <laughs> Maybe he can just take b7 or something like that. Okay, I have rook b8 though. Okay, I'm grabbing this now. Threatening knight e3 and rook h2. Oh, isn't that dangerous? Ah, okay, he can go to f2. He can just go to f2. Okay, it's 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 not it's not super clear. I can go rook h4. And uh, h1 hangs, and yeah, I don't know. At least I can harass the hell out of him. <laughs> Typical King's Indian bogus. Uh, it's probably lost somehow, but it's 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 irritating. He he just took it. Okay, b because he wants to take b7. I see. Uh, but what what happens here? He takes b7. Hmm. Rook on the second, uh, and then f3 or something. How does he play then? Let's do it. King e1, f3, yes, knight takes e5, unfortunately. That's a bit of a shame, otherwise f3 would be quite interesting. Knight e5 of all moves. Then you will take on f3. Hmm. Would like to get my bishop somehow in this in this game. I don't see how though. Yeah, again, I cannot take over there. Mm -hmm. After queen d4 is going to c2. So, what does that mean, actually? He's attacking b7 still. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'm down everything, but it's it's still kind of interesting a little bit. So I can give a check there. Um, after f3, we'll probably just sacrifice that knight. Mm. Okay. I have no square. Ah, I have no square for that bloody queen. Ah, I have to go to b6 now. Eh? That's bad. Mm, that's bad. Okay. Pooh. It was a fun game. <laughs> um. Yeah, unfortunately he will win that. Yeah, okay, let's resign that. Uh, I don't know, it was interesting. I think it was interesting. Probably not too correct, but... <laughs> uh, okay, so... Let's see what happens here. So got a got a um, Grunfeld. Um, no, I never played Thomas Randall. I think, and I don't know his show. I'm sorry. I think he does he does something for Chess.com, but I don't I don't really know the show. I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, 
how does that work? Gotten the the whole thing. <laughs> I think Black's line Black's line here is not working at all. But I have I have totally forgotten why. <laughs> so let's see. Here I can go Queen D two as well. I think. Yeah, but B takes is okay. I mean Bishop takes King F one can cannot be really great for Black would be quite surprising if it would be okay so what about this mm -hmm. just queen b3 uh, let's do that and then develop so No, before you ask, I never watched Eric Hansen play. I know he's good, but um, he's a good player. But I never watched his uh, his streams. So, what is this guy doing here? To me, irritating me a lot. Bishop a six. I can still go queen b three, right? Yeah, sometimes there's a problem with those people who play like instantly, every move instantly and super sharp stuff. I never understand how they can play like that. Yeah, this this stuff that looks like it's total bonkers and maybe it's not, yeah, but they seem to figure it out in in, in milliseconds, yeah, or, or they just don't give a damn. That's, <laughs> the, these are the two, um, two um, things. Probably the don't give a damn part is uh, more important. Here I'm just two pawns up, I think. He cannot play rook b8. I've got a bishop on f4. Yeah, it should be should be really good for white. Let's keep that pawn. He was just firing the typical drunken machine gunner style. Yeah, now he's uh, thinking to two pawns down. And I have some possibilities maybe to get to c6 with my knight. The other good idea would be something like c4, e4, bishop e3, push, push pawns. But c4 would give him knight b4, which I'm not sure I want him to have. Hmm. Right, it's pretty it's pretty awkward for black. I don't see a decent continuation. Knight b8. Doesn't look right. How high am I rated in the rapid pool? Um I don't know. I just I just uh, conceded one draw. Um in the 2510, no 2510, 50. This is this is what I would consider the rapid pool now. Um, yeah, I have to uh, to check. Uh, this guy is not playing. Is he disconnected or something? No, pinging is fine. Uh, someone is requesting. Can I do one round of Singfield Club Singfield Cup live stream? I will do um, one. Um, one uh, live broadcast for the ICC actually I'm very much looking forward to that together with Grandmaster Lars Bohansen from Denmark 
will be a great event. I really like to play, um, uh, play, to do commentary with them. It was great fun to do um, this earlier in the year. Um, and doing a full stream on my my own Twitch of the uh, the event. I'm not sure that I can get that in. Would be interesting. Would be interesting, but. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get it in. I have to work sometimes and yeah, I'm sorry guys. This guy is just letting the clock run down. Maybe a pizza pizza guy at the door. Do I have I still have some no cold coffee left? Yeah, that's a um, bit of a shame, but okay, the position is very nice, but would have liked to play that on. Um, who do I think will win the Singfor Cup? Well, that's easy. It's always Magnus Carlsen, even though he had a bad Norway chess. He's still the huge favorite to win that event. Okay. Um, oh, come on! Give me the give me the win by for fading. Okay, now it now it did. Okay, next game. Timo Fonica. Who the heck is that? <laughs> yeah, the C three is saying. I haven't studied that for ages. Now that I'm thinking of p p picking up. Um, and the Sicilian again, I really need to. Yeah, stuff like that can be highly irritating. So probably stay solid. At least the knight on a3 has a weird uh, position in that IQP. Uh, okay. So I cannot take, why not? Okay, show me. Maybe I cannot take, but takes, king takes. Mm. Maybe, yeah, maybe I should have considered that, reconsidered that. <laughs> it can be risky. Check on d1, bishop d7, knight g5, this kind of business. Wow. Timophonica. Yeah. It's kind of. What kind of account is that? Uh, come on, guys. You are 1600 in one minute and 2340 in five minutes. Hmm. Really? 1900 in three minutes? What is this nonsense? Is there anybody not cheating here? Ah, oh, come on, guys. This, this is crazy. Okay, but okay, he took ages for bishop f4. That actually points at him not being a cheater, but it's still highly irritating. Uh, and it's a good move. <laughs> it's a good move. <laughs> of course, yeah, he can just threaten there on c7. Hmm. Wow, mm, I totally did not see this coming. And it was just, that was a move without thinking that capture on C3. I could have played any, any move and have some kind of position. Well, this is now um, just just lost. It just lost. Okay, let's let's take them. You can just play rook b1. I still have nothing. I cannot do nothing against knight c7. H5 maybe I know it's it's just it's just um, probably not matter doesn't matter much probably hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, may maybe. <laughs> what kind of a wacky position is that? Okay, so he's taking this here and then takes the the rook in the corner. I guess, and I'm taking here. Yeah, he's unfortunately directly threatening again. Otherwise, this might might be somewhat interesting. I can get that a8 knight, but it's probably not happening. What a, what a weird game. Bishop b5. And by the way, he's very likely not cheating. It's just that those uh, kind of huge rating gaps, they, they very often suggest um, foul play. But the game does not, really not. Mm, so... If he takes this, can I somehow get stuff developed or? <laughs> uh. Yeah, rook to c7 is good. Ooh, yeah, tough game. Bishop d7, rook c7. It's really, really, really tough. He played that very well, I guess. can play knight c7. Yeah, rook b7 maybe. That looks strong. start to get that knight yeah now he does <laughs> get that knight back into this game rook f8 a uh, rook c8 i mean ah he's got knight d5 yeah he can play knight d5 then take no he cannot but this is still strong okay yeah, he played that well. Wow. Wow. That wasn't good. Ugh. So let's see, can I get a win against our penguin here? Okay, he's going for some hybrid between Slav and Grunfeld. Yeah, my blitz is really rusty. I think one, one reason is that in recent uh, weeks, like two weeks, I've been um, I'm, I've been very busy. And uh, what I did is, and what I'm still doing is, I'm kind of uh, I'm uh, reorganizing my um, my um, my household, if you want, yeah, is that a word? Household, yeah, I think it is. I'm, um, I'm, um, selling stuff that I don't need anymore. That typical clutter that kind of you you amass over the years, and uh, I'm selling all kinds of stuff, 
yeah, daily going to the post office and so on. It's interesting. I also um, sold tons of chess books. E4, knight, c5. Hmm. So let's go here. Yeah, old chess books that you really don't know. That you really don't need, don't know is weird. So I'm going, where do I go? Probably here. Yeah, currently his bishop is not doing that much. There's a question. Can can you sell me something, Chris? Yeah. What what do what do you want? I'm currently have lots of stuff on eBay. I've got um, only today. I sold some stuff. An old uh, rice cooker. Um, I sold. Um, I sold my mom's old TV set. Yeah, cool stuff. <laughs> um, yes, what is he going for? Queen e2 or something? Yeah, maybe this is a good move here. Yeah? Trying to do something. My eBay account is also Chess Explained. <laughs> yeah, you can go on eBay and check Chess Explained, find some stuff that I'm selling. five okay yeah he can go bishop d4 which is very very annoying idea hmm Yeah, I don't really see how to stop that. To be honest, it's a bit, uh, bit of a problem. I mean, it's not that I'm significantly worse or anything, but I'm not so sure how to play against that. Maybe Queen D2 to F4. Someone says Nigel Short is the worst commentator ever. I disagree. I think Nigel is one of the best commentators. He's got really excellent chess insight. So um, I really think he's got one of the he's one of the best. Really, why wouldn't you like him? I mean, maybe you don't like him, like his um, his um, um, his personality. That that's that's uh, that that's, that's something I would understand. But uh, purely chess-wise, he's pretty okay. Okay, what is happening here? You really go f5 now, yeah? Maybe, yeah, he does. People have no fear. They have no fear nowadays. <laughs> it's probably, probably if the right move. I cannot go f3, that's the worst part. Yeah, e5, queen c7, no? Nothing, nothing works out here, really. Mm, what a shame. Okay. <laughs> Someone is making fun of my eBay sales. Yeah, I'm I'm selling some of those crystal miniature figures from my mother, guys. Nothing to make fun of. <laughs> They're not mine. <laughs> um, so let's see here. It's going to do something on F2.
Yeah, he played well, that guy. What can you do? I, I'm not playing well, but he's he's doing that. He's playing really good chess here, I think. Queen g4, that's queen... Um, uh, queen f5. And I really have no great reply to that, amazingly. Do I read um, pedag pedagogical stuff for my job as a trainer? No, not really. I think I should, but I mostly teach teach um, adults, so I, I really don't need stuff uh, with kids, let's say. But um, yeah, okay, of course, adults, some, some teaching um, techniques are helpful there as well, but it's, I think, more helpful for kids to, to know something there. Yeah, what a rotten position. It is not great. Yeah, currently, um, and currently, um, there's some discussion in the chat about chess commentators. Uh, yeah, I think I really most uh, most of them do a pretty good job. It's really, it's really, um, I think, really the case. They all have their. Um, pluses and minuses uh, someone says Peter Leko is the um, is the worst chess commentator that's not true really not um, Peter is, is an exceptionally good player really and uh, he's a very good commentator he's just he doesn't have a very exciting voice yeah as Flaneur is saying um, he's got excellent insight. I mean, I met this guy, yeah, you know, and um, and um, he's exceptionally nice. That's the first thing. And uh, I mean, this guy can tell you stories. He went swimming, yeah, in Budapest with Bobby Fischer, who can tell can tell stories like that, yeah. That that was just fantastic stuff. He met Bobby Fischer at McDonald's in Budapest, and Fischer said he feared that some McDonald's staff would be from the CIA that's really great stuff all, all from Peter and he, he's a great guy so don't uh, <laughs> don't uh, say anything bad about uh, Peter Leko I mean he's, he's, he's I understand his chess is sometimes not so exciting but um, he, he absolutely knows stuff yeah <laughs> okay so rook g7 is Bit of a, a bit of a weird way to play it. So let's see here. <sighs> he still has a good position. I I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But probably I'm just about in time. And he's got queen a2. Ah, I don't give me that. So do I draw at least this nonsense? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, okay, so one more game. Um, so, yeah, it's fun to talk about the chess commentators. <laughs> yeah, I think really a lo lot of them are, uh, are great. Someone mentioned uh, Rena Crush. I think she she also is pretty good. I think she was pretty okay um, when, um, what was that? Uh, Gibraltar, I think she did commentary on. I think she did a good job there. Was a good team together with Simon Williams. She, um, yeah, she did the positional stuff, the strategic stuff while Simon was dashing out incorrect lines. That was cool stuff. <laughs> no, so making fun. I really like Simon as a player. He's uh, very entertaining. But um, sometimes uh, 
sometimes it's pretty funny what he suggests. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's see. Um, um, I should know stuff. That's my book, right? <laughs> I have to prepare knight e7 back. I should, could have played knight e7 immediately, actually. Anyway, it should should be okay. Yeah, someone mentioned. Uh, someone mentioned. Um, um, Yasser Saravan. Yeah, I think he's a an excellent commentator. But I think what Flaneur said is a bit a bit true. Sometimes it it feels um, like he addresses the audience like they were little kids, and this is a bit strange, given that most of the audience won't be kids. So what is this? He's allowing this this rook here, right? I know bishop f4, but I can even take c3 then. Wow. So e4, knight f6, knight g4, or, or can I do something more drastic? That really looks like it shouldn't work at all. Okay, let's do it. So here, and then see, bishop f4, I will take c3. I mean, I just take that pawn. My idea is knight g4 coming. Ah, you know, I think um, nobody mentioned Alejandro Ramirez as a commentator. I think he's excellent. Not not mentioned, but uh, he's I think very good, very good inside, and um, it's really good stuff. Um, my thoughts on Mike Kummer. I think I <laughs> I addressed that last week. I mean, I'm not quite sure um, what he should do, but he definitely should shouldn't be in front of kids and talking about um, about chess. It's not a good idea, and and also not in front of adults. Maybe not in front of anybody. Okay, my idea is uh, just to invade with the queen. I don't see what he does against it, and I already have picked up a pawn. Yeah, Yasser's, Yasser's voice and uh, mannerisms. Yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean. He's a, he's a really nice, um, he's a really nice person. I've, I also met him uh, playing in the Dutch league, and um, he's exceptionally friendly and very very nice person. But um, but um, yeah, I understand why people um, wouldn't like that at some at some point. Yeah, if I'm not winning that game, I'm really, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, what is Mr. Artus doing now? Waiting. So let's check. Let's not blunder stuff. Knight g4. Probably even Mike Kummer would win from that position. Always giving a couple of dangerous checks here. I shouldn't go to h5. That would be a bad idea. That would be a really bad idea. But I can do this, huh? So let me check any other questions. We are already in overtime, so I'm looking at a couple of questions. Um, did you read GM Baburin book? That's winning pawn structures, I guess. Um, I read is a bit much. I have that. I use it sometimes. Um, someone says 
he's not thinking Magnus Carlsen will be world champion for too long, considering the young GMs coming up. Hmm. Well, who's who's that great? Why he? I don't know. It depends. I think um, Carlsen has every chance to stay world champion for quite a while. It will depend, of course, on the format. If um, Carlsen suggested this kind of knockout um, thing, um, and then it's a totally different story anyway. If this kind of thing would be would be done. Um, now I don't have more than one copy of the Baburian book. I, I definitely I keep all books with instructional content anyway. I'm, I mostly sold old opening books. It was um, like um, three to four hundred old opening books and uh, in chess informants and stuff like that. Um, yeah, Nakamura is also a potential champ. Someone says. Um, he definitely has improved a lot, yeah. But um, still, winning the odd game against Carlsen would help. Um, yeah, there's a there's a mention of a German player, Vincent Keimer. That's a very young German player. I think he's 11 years old now, and very strong. He's a good feeder master strength. This is the the only really exceptional talent out of Germany for ages. Um, which feed of president would you have preferred, current or Kasparov? Yeah, that's a easy question. Who wants Yoshimov? You have to be crazy to to uh, to want him. I mean, uh, you could probably. Um, I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know who, who would be worse than Yoshimov. At least he's got money. Um, if you had to play the dragon or Nidorf, what would you go with, Nidorf? Uh, and in both, um, in both, I'm um, probably getting checkmated. Do you buy every opening book that comes out? No, uh, lots, lots of the three or four hundred were like uh, new and chess stuff and chess informants and so on. But I, I bought quite a, quite a, quite a bit really. Um, okay, any other questions? I like to do questions. Um, nowadays, I'm I'm I cut down on buying opening books. Really, yeah. The dragon um, with the dragon, I always feel if you play that, you have some. It's it's very difficult um, if you if your memory fails. You also difficult in the night, of course. But um, I don't know. I'd rather I'd rather um, um, play the play the night off. Yeah. Um, time Hanov is, is what I want to um, want to play. This is um, this is easier. There's a question. How do I like the Tiger Sprung series? The Tiger Sprung series is something in German. Um, it's a series by Arthur Yusupov. Books I recommend uh, a lot. Um, uh, How do I like the Karukan book by Yovanka Huska? It's a very good book. Do I own any uh, Lakdawala books? Uh, not anymore. I had um, I had one or two of his opening books, I think, but I sold them. <laughs> They're not that terrible. I mean, the London System book was pretty okay. Um, What's the most positional Sicilian on Black's from Black's point of view? Yeah, the the Taimano and Khan variations probably. That uh, makes makes quite some sense. Okay, guys, I have to finish the stream. We're already on overtime, fifteen minutes plus. I'm uh, I will be on next week um, when we are already um, yeah during the Singfield Cup. Um, oh yes, yeah, so you still dash out um, questions yeah sorry we have to do that um, have to do that um, next time okay guys thanks for watching I'll be online next week Monday same time um, where is that button actually here it is <laughs>